Hi folks, it's Ben with Ari Thomas Marine Hardware. Today we're talking about our ISBSA self-aligning shaft seal and whether or not it's a good solution for your boat. Stick around, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Ari Thomas Marine Hardware, I'm Ben. And as promised, we're gonna be talking about our ISBSA self-aligning shaft seal and whether or not it's a good fit for your boat. So uh, before we start talking about this, just real briefly, a traditional stuffing box is trying to do a couple of different things at once. It's trying to create a seal around the shaft, but in many cases, due to the length of the propeller shaft, it's uh, also going to be bearing a lot of the weight of the propeller shaft, so it'll act as a bearing and as a shaft seal. Now, this can lead to an increase in noise and vibration and uh, constant adjustment of the gland nut. And uh, you may have a steady stream of water coming out of your gland nut here, uh, dripping into your bilge, which is not uh, really a desirable situation. So what we did is we took a traditional stuffing box and we separated those two different components. So we've got a bearing housing which is gonna mount where your current stuffing box might be, and it's got a cutlass bearing in it. So this cutlass bearing is gonna support the shaft, it's gonna be water cooled to help keep the bearing cool, to help keep the propeller shaft cool so that you don't wear out the bearing and start key seating the, uh, the bronze housing here. And then we took the actual packing gland, the stuffing box assembly, and separated from the main housing and connected it with a rubber hose. And what this does is it allows the shaft seal to seal around the propeller shaft. And this is uh, especially useful in high horsepower applications, maybe a commercial fishing boat, uh, an offshore uh, tuna boat, recreational fishing boat, something along those lines where you've got uh, an incredible amount of torque in the propeller shaft and the engine and the propeller shaft it's going to be moving a little bit. Having a self-aligning stuffing box like this allows the shaft seal to seal around that shaft no matter where the propeller shaft is. And also, the bearing with the, with the cutlass bearing in it is going to help support that shaft to minimize vibration and make it a more comfortable ride for your boat. Also, uh, it's going to be water fed. So what this does is it allows you to keep this packing nut uh, tighter to eliminate that drip that's coming out. You might have an occasional drip every once in a while, but keeping this whole system cool, having water come across your stuffing box here and across your, your, uh, your cutlass bearing down here, it's a much safer solution and it's not prone to some of the failures that uh, people often complain about or worry about with dripless, mechanical shaft seals, packless shaft seals are sometimes called. So it's just a much better solution. Okay, so installing one of our self-aligning shaft seals is fairly straightforward. A lot of our customers do it themselves, uh, but certainly a service yard would be able to do the work for you. Uh, there's gonna be two different types of installations. The first would be when you're replacing a traditional stuffing box like this, uh, and the next one is when you're gonna be replacing one of the dripless mechanical shaft seals that's already affixed to a, to a shaft tube. Uh, we'll talk about that one in a minute. So the first one, if you're replacing a traditional stuffing box, you're going to unbolt the stuffing box from the bulkhead of your boat, or however it's affixed to the boat, and you're going to replace it with the bearing housing from our self-aligning shaft seal. So this will take the place of this. You might find that the opening here is going to have to be a little bit bigger than it will be on the opening of your uh, traditional stuffing box. So you're going to have to drill out a hole a little bit bigger to accommodate for the bigger pilot on the uh, on the intermediate shaft bearing here because it's bigger with that cutlass bearing in it. And to do that, we'll make a dummy plug for you if need be that matches the diameter of your existing stuffing box pilot diameter. This will go in its place and then you just take a hole saw and go through and expand the hole out to the size that you need to accommodate for the larger pilot diameter on our intermediate shaft bearing. And as you can see, most hole saws are going to have a little drill bit in the middle of here and that will slide right over that and it will help keep the saw centered so it will stay true, the hole will stay true to the alignment of your shaft. 
Once that's done, once that's bolted up, you'll notice that the uh, bearing is barbed and you're going to connect the rubber hose, the marine grade rubber hose with the self-aligning stuffing box assembly here. Tighten up the stainless steel hose clamps. Make sure everything's good and tight. You're going to want to connect your, uh, your hose bar here to uh, the raw water pump on your boat's engine to help keep the water going through and keep everything circulated. And that's pretty much it. Now if your boat has a stern tube, shaft tube, uh, people call them different things. If your boat has a shaft tube, and I just happen to have one here, it's simply, uh, simply a plug and play. You won't have the intermediate shaft bearing, but if your stern tube or your shaft tube is done correctly, you'll already have a cutlass bearing in it somewhere to support that shaft so that, again, the self-aligning shaft seal, the shaft sealing assembly itself, is just worried about creating that shaft seal. And this is simply just going to slide right onto your shaft seal like this. And uh, this is an excellent, excellent upgrade from dripless shaft seals, mechanical shaft seals, packless shaft seals, they're all called different things. But taking a traditional stuffing box assembly like this, there's a lot less that can go wrong compared to uh, one of those mechanical style shaft seals, dripless style shaft seals. So uh, it's a great, uh, great application. And if you have any questions, give us a call. We'll certainly be glad to answer them if we can and uh, steer you in the right direction.